guys. Welcome back to the Lightford house. Today we're going to be making some s'mores in our air fryer basket here in the Ninja Foodie Grill. We're going to be using the air fry setting. We're going to go ahead and assemble our s'mores. I'm going to make six s'mores. So what I've done is take some graham crackers, divided them in half. These are going to be our bottom halves and I'm going to set a marshmallow on each one and then we're going to put our chocolate on after we get this marshmallow kind of air fried and browned on here. So I have these pretty thick marshmallows. I'm going to kind of just smoosh them down just a little bit. Try to press them down onto the cracker as best as you can. It's not really going to stick on there, but and while I'm doing this, I'm going to go ahead, get my foodie plugged in. I'm going to hit the air crisp button. We're going to go down to three. Well, this one only does 360 or 375. So we'll go with 360 for time. I'm just going to put about three minutes. It's got a preheat. Then we'll be ready to add the food. All right, guys. So all we're doing is getting the graham cracker and marshmallow. That's what's going to go in first. Then once we remove this from the air fryer, broke a graham cracker there. That's fine. We'll just do five. So when we remove these from the air fryer, that's when we're at, we'll add our chocolate on while the marshmallow is still hot. So go ahead and unwrap your Hershey's bars or whatever chocolate you're going to use. And we'll be right back once the foodie is preheated. All right, I've got some chocolate on a plate my other pieces of graham cracker. Just checking it at one minute. We're gonna let it keep going. All right guys, the foodie grill's just about done. We're going to hit the power button. Let's take a look inside. Nice golden brown toasted marshmallows. Now I'm gonna use a spatula. I think that would be the best way to get these out and remove them to a plate. If you want these more golden brown, then you could do them a little bit longer. Or you could raise the temperature up. All right, guys, we've got our marshmallows nice and toasted. Now we're going to place the chocolate on top. So just like so. All right, guys, after you place your chocolate on top, just place your other graham cracker on there. And be careful, this bottom graham cracker is super hot. And look, you can see how melty that is already. It is super hot, so be careful. But that's what we want, because that helps to kind of melt our chocolate down. And this is just a fun thing to do with your kids or grandkids or anything like that. Or just you want to s'more yourself and you don't want to make them outside. All right guys, these things are done. That marshmallow was very melty. So be careful with these, but here's the final look. And my daughter's reaching for one right now. You might want to let it cool down for a second so that you don't burn your mouth on it. All right, it's 11 year old approved, you guys. Be sure to leave a comment if you have any questions in the comment section, guys. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up, y'all, and subscribe if you're new here because we've got more summer recipes coming up and more foodie grill recipes also, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.